Welcome back to Tiny Blue Games. My name's of course Seesaw or Chris, and today we're talking about Final Fantasy XIV in 2020. Today we're going to be talking about deep sea or ocean fishing, I'm not actually sure which one it's officially called, uh, but it's the fishing that happens out in the ocean, so uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to try it. It's something that I haven't really ever done in an MMO before, so I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how it is done um, and whether or not I enjoy it or not. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, what I should mention before that though is that we did partner up with Exit Leg. I did a video about that last weekend. Um, if you didn't see it, you can check it out to find out more about Exit Leg. If if you're interested uh, but what you should know is that there is a link in the description below if you do use that it does help out the channel it's a sponsored link um, you can also use the code seesaw to get an additional 20 percent off any order you get through exit leg and they do have a three-day free trial if you're interested in just checking it out uh, but yeah so that said let's move on into the video um, i originally wanted to do this as a live recording and it's kind of going to be a weird situation where parts of this is live and parts of, well, is a live recording and parts of it is a voiceover. Um, the voice in the live recording did not record super well, so I've kind of had to go and mishmash a few different things together, so hopefully it turns out all right. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll be an interesting composition anyways. Uh, though speaking about live streams, live recording, um, some of you might have noticed a certain event that happened this past week on Wednesday, I think it was. Um, I did my first test stream, and funnily enough, the test stream was supposed to be an unlisted video that only I saw. However, within like minutes, people started showing up to it, and we ended up getting, I think, up to 80 people randomly showing up, which was crazy for something that was not at all planned. Um, we didn't do anything, so if you if you missed it, uh, you didn't miss much. It was mostly a black screen that we stared at, um, and then I just tested different parts of the live stream to see if everything was working. Um, it does seem like most things are working, and, and I'm super thankful for everyone who did show up because that actually did help me out a lot, uh, being able to ask you guys questions. And it was one of the most exciting things I've done on YouTube up to this point. I, I felt such a rush while doing it. Um, I'm definitely excited to roll that out in the next little while. Um, I mentioned this during the live stream, and I may as well mention it here so everyone's caught up. Um, probably within... I want to say either next weekend or the weekend after that, so probably within two weeks, I plan to have a, an announcement video. Um, we'll talk about live streaming and when the first one will happen. We'll talk about a Discord server that I've been putting together um, that is like near completion and will be ready by the time that announcement video is ready. Um, and we will we'll be talking about that and a bunch of other things surrounding the channel. It'll be a, a channel update video that we just haven't had for some time and I've had a bunch of things that have almost been ready and I'm just gonna like package them up and have them ready to go at once. But yeah, so now everyone's caught up and we are we're officially ready to dive into the rest of this video. I should also put a disclaimer here that if you are new to Final Fantasy XIV and you are watching this video to learn how to do ocean fishing, this is not the right video for you. This video is a very beginner look at my first time fishing. Um, it's not going to be anything too intense and it's probably going to be making a bunch of mistakes. The comments in the video might be very good for you learning like little tips and tricks so I, I do recommend checking that out um, and if you just want to see how to unlock ocean fishing well I do actually successfully do that so that's good uh, but I just wanted to put that out there before someone starts taking my advice and applying it to their gameplay that's usually not a super good way to go about things. Um, but yeah, in terms of ocean fishing, I wanted to try this out. Um, I think it was back in the Moonfire Fair. I saw this really cool mini or minion uh, of a shark that could walk. It was kind of like similar to the boss that you'd fight in the fate, but it was a little tiny shark. And I was like, where'd you get that? And I was hoping it was from the Moonfire Fair. It wasn't, but it turns out it is from the deep sea fishing. Um, and I don't actually unlock it throughout this. We apparently have a really bad run uh, from what a lot of people on the ship talk about, um, and I'll, I'll mention that kind of more at the end of the video when we get into the run, uh, but yeah, so it was kind of cool. Um, the, the important thing though is I unlocked how to do it, learned how to do it, um, and I can do it whenever, so that's that's kind of the, the bigger takeaways from this video, but let's jump into the, the live portion of this video where I do go about unlocking it and finding my way to the ship. Alrighty, it looks like we unlocked fishing. Um, potential crew members may register to the board uh, to board the Endeavor in 15 minute intervals occurring every two hours earth time. 
However, the endeavor will depart early if the number of crew members reaches 24. Okay, so does that mean... How hard is it to join this? Is it in the duty finder? Seems likely. Uh, is it a dungeon? Where'd you find it? Raids. I'm so confused. Where'd you find fishing? Or do you talk to them? Oh, okay. Um, no longer accepting crew members. Recruiting will start again in 53 minutes. Well, that kind of sucks. I guess I'll have to come back at a time where it's happening. Um, we can learn a bit more about it, though, so let's do that. Since I probably cut out the part where I was reading their speech, because that that was not great. There was some names in there I did not know how to say properly. Um, so we can view a sailing schedule. Oh, so it goes to quite different places, uh, depending on the time of day. Really interesting. Okay. Um, <laughs> and there's one happening in 53 minutes, which would be... Um, I'd assume... Wait, this is AM, so PM. This is the one that we'd be looking at, and then it's another two hours after that, at that time. So maybe I'll try and do the one... I'll try to do the one in 53 minutes. We'll see if I if I manage that. Um, but that's really cool. And it's, so it's got the different sort of areas you go to. How far out does it go? So just around this area. Um, but it's, it's cool. And then what else can we learn? Um, learn more about ocean fishing. Probably worthwhile. Okay, so I can learn about all this before getting on the ship, which will probably help out. Uh, so we've got a description. So you go onto the ship, makes sense. Basic rules, 24 players uh, may join an ocean fishing voyage, uh, solo or in parties of up to eight members. Players will be matched together to form a full party when participating um, solo or with a few of them. Okay, that's fine. Each voyage um, will go to three locations and return back to this port. How to participate. Um, speak with uh, Mrs. Dry, Dry Skotha. I don't know. Uh, at the ferry docks to register as a crew member and board the endeavor. Uh, registration periods last for 15 minutes and occur every two hours. Um, if registration as a party member, oh, as a party, the party leader must, you know, register. That's fine. Um, the ship will depart when 24 crew members have been assembled or the registration period has ended, even if there are fewer than 24 members. Registration times may be viewed from the sailing schedule. So does that mean every two hours only 24 people can go fishing? Because that sounds crazy. Like, is there only one ship that leaves? That sounds really difficult if that's the case. Rewards by meeting a certain condition while fishing during the voyage. Players will receive achievements that reward special titles, mounts, and minions. I'm after the minion. Fishers who are level 50 or above and have completed the re re requisite quests may also receive gatherer scripts as a reward. I am not a level 50 fisher, so there's that. Uh, specialty bait. The Fisherman's Guild has developed specialty bait for the use in ocean fishing. While this bait can attract a wide variety of fish, it is not suitable to catch everything on your journey. Use a wide selection of bait to increase the size and diversity of your catch. Special bait can be purchased at the ferry docks or aboard the Endeavor. Okay, so you can buy some on there. That's fine. Special currents. Special currents are special weather effects uh, that form under certain conditions. These currents carry a large number of fish and provide ample opportunity to fill your inventory. Some types of fish only appear during spectral currents. Points. Players will accum accumulate points during each voyage and will receive reward based on their final score upon returning to Limsa Liminza. Um, scores will not be affected if the player releases their catch or if the equipment breaks during the voyage. Your current score is displayed in a special UI window and detailed breakdown of the score can be viewed by selecting a score overview. Wow, there's a lot to this. 
Final score is when a voyage concludes, a player will see both their own score and the scores of other crew members. If certain conditions are met during the voyage, a bonus will be added to an individual score once the voyage ends. Individual scores. Um, here players can view their own score, that's fine. Group scores, you can see your you know, group score, okay, that's fine. Bonuses. Players will receive bonuses to their score when they surpass certain milestones during each voyage. Examples of such milestones include catching more than a certain number of specific fish, um, either solo a party or catching a particularly rare fish. Players may view which fish they have contributed to the bonuses from their score overview window during the voyage, or from the individual score window after the voyage has concluded. Oof, so that's all of that. There's another 48 minutes I have to wait to do this. Um, all right, so here we are back in the voiceover mode. Super weird back and forth between voiceover and live. Uh, let me know if you end up liking this for some reason, but it is definitely not my intention to do kind of the mix of this. This was once again an issue with the original audio for certain parts of it, um, but certain parts of it were fine. So I'm not really sure what happened there, but we're gonna hope, hope it doesn't come up again. Uh, but yeah, so the fishing was pretty uneventful. I mean, I don't know what a super eventful version of this ends up being, but I kind of just sort of sat by myself and, and fished the whole time. Um, I did talk to certain people on the ship, which was pretty fun, um, and a lot of them were saying that this was a, like a pretty lame ship ride too, like there was no um, interesting events where you do have like kind of chances to get other fish. From what I understand, there's certain chances of the entire ship getting into like a, a different type of water um, that gives you better odds at getting certain fish or even like allows you to get fish that you can't get otherwise. Um, but that aside, the actual experience was pretty fun. Um, I think the, the best part of it was the um, just the ability to sit there and really just focus on your fishing the whole time. Like it was a, a nice time frame to dedicate just to purely fishing. Whereas in a lot of games, you know, I'll try and do it between like a dungeon queue or something like that and I'll like not end up fishing too much. I mean, you even saw at the start of this, I was still pretty much like almost what, level 8 I think fishing by the end of the entire run I was like level 15 or 16 fishing so it doubled my fishing level um, in half an hour uh, the the other thing I noticed like when I came in I wasn't sure how long it was gonna be I was concerned originally that it was gonna be the full 60 minutes which seemed like a really long time just to sit there and fish um, it ended up being I think closer to half an hour uh, but I'm not I don't think it was exactly half an hour I'd have to like go back and, and double check um, but you do spend a little bit of time at each of the different zones and you get to cast as much as you can and then you move to the next one and to the next one so it does kind of switch things up as you stay there because it could get quite stale just staying in the one spot um, and you do have different fish that you can get in each of the different spots um, and as a first time doing it you get a lot of fish that you haven't seen before uh, so i kept getting like achievements and stuff like that it was it was kind of uh, really exciting as a, a first time doing it because you do get a lot of experience for your fishing and you do get to find all these different fish that you've never seen before the one pointer i will give to players that are trying this out for the first time is do make sure you have a lot of space in your inventory um, i ended up finding that I, I got so many fish that I had to go and sell a bunch of stuff, um, which definitely made me lose a fair bit of time in the one, I think it was the, the second fishing spot we went to. Um, the other things to keep in mind is that you can't do it any time of day. I believe it's every two hours that the, the ship comes in, which is pretty crazy. I wasn't really expecting that, and it was it kind of added a level of interest to the event that you can't do it whenever, because um, it's kind of exclusive in that way. and. Also, you have to be one of the first few people there. Um, I'm still unclear, and I'd love people in the comments to sort of say, you know, is it only 24 people that get to go on the ship, or is that like, they're like lots and lots of different ships, and like it's just, you know, gonna fill up one ship, and then the next one sort of fills up afterwards, or is it legitimately only 24 people that can go every two hours? Because that seems pretty crazy if that's the case. Um, but yeah, I mentioned that throughout the video, and I'm just, I'm like, is that, is that for real? Um, the other things you could do is get some bait, you know, mend your, mend your gear, repair your gear, uh, make sure you're just ready to go. You could probably like actually get some good gear for fishing, uh, which I definitely don't have. So there's going to be people, people mentioning that for sure. And I just want to let you know, I'm, I'm aware I was not prepared in terms of like my setup for this. Um, and as you can see, I only got a thousand two hundred ish points, which is not super good from what I understand. I believe you either get 
the minion at 5,000 and then the mount at 10,000, or it's switched. I think it is the way I said it though. Um, so there's there's a fair bit of improvement, um, and I do hope to go back and kind of like improve upon that each time. I assume that having a higher fishing level kind of would grant you a significant chance to do better. Um, I even unlock a, an ability I think called Patience halfway through that does kind of give me the ability to catch rarer fish but gives me a chance to miss catching the fish um, and I think I did a lot better in terms of actually getting points once I had that because some of the rare fish really do give you quite the boost in points um, and I believe it act, like applies your bonuses and stuff like that. I'd have to do a lot more research in terms of how to get the best score um, but like i say i think the big thing we missed is kind of like that that lucky spree where you go into kind of different waters where you can catch different fish um, and that's something that applies to the whole boat from what i understand but yeah from what i saw it was a really cool event um, it was definitely different than a lot of fishing i've done in other games that has really mostly just been off of docks and stuff like that so it was it was cool that you were sort of combined with a bunch of people it, it felt like a, a raid of sorts specifically because they do use the same int entrance and like cutscenes where you see everyone in your party um i like the the final cutscene where we're kind of going back to uh, the shore and everyone looks pretty disappointed i don't know if it plays differently depending on the the overall score of people in the boat or if it does just look like that and that's how it is um, but i'd be interested to see how it looked if i came back with you know enough to get a mount or something like that uh, but yeah Overall, I found it was really fun. Um, it's definitely not something I do all the time, but it's something that you can mix into your gameplay to get a, a very different feel. Um, for instance, it's something that would be really fun to do maybe if I was answering questions while live streaming, because it's a pretty chill thing to do where I'm not focused on like mechanics and stuff like that. But maybe, th maybe you guys want to see me fail at mechanics while you ask me questions, I don't know. Uh, but yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun putting it together. I do apologize for the weird setup of the audio it was not intended um, and i look forward to seeing you in the next videos and having an announcement soon with some exciting changes coming to the channel but yeah guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one